It's hard to believe, but Droughtlander is a mere two weeks away. Just one episode, Providence stands between us and the season 4 finale, comma, and it promises to pile on the drama before the Fraser's story concludes for the season. Brianna, Sophie Skelton, and Lord John Gray, David Barry, formed an emotional alliance built on mutual trust in last week's episode, with the two ultimately becoming engaged to save Brie from social ruin. In a new clip from this Sunday's episode exclusive to Bazaar.com, the two grow even closer, with Lord John comforting Brianna as she returns to Wilmington for the first time since she was raped. I thought I'd get used to being this size, but I haven't. I just get more and more uncomfortable, pregnant Brie bemoans. Being here is harder than I thought it would be. Calmly, John replies, the baby is expected. Memories are not. They simply come. The two reminisce about Claire, and John promises Brie her parents are doing their best to save Roger. Soothed, Brie tells John, you are impossible not to like. It's unclear why Brie and Lord John are in Wilmington, but a sneak peek from Sunday's episode reveals Brianna has read Jamie's letter, and he begs her not to seek vengeance for her rape. However, the star's synopsis for the episode implies Brie ultimately meets with Stephen Bonnet who was captured in Wilmington alongside Murtaugh at the end of last week's episode. While the Mohawk encourage Roger to become one of their own, he struggles to assimilate into the tribe and puts his ability to survive at risk. With support from one of Jamie's old friends, Brianna returns to Wilmington to confront a violent figure from her past in an attempt to find some peace. Skelton discussed Bree's rape and ensuing PTSD with Bizarre.com back in December and hinted at how the storyline will end. One thing that's wonderful about movies and TV shows is that you get to know these characters, and you get to be in their head, and in a way, they help you through your real life," Skelton said. If you see a character go through something, and see them come out the other end, not unharmed, but okay, then it gives you hope that you'll be able to do that, too.